Joining us now is Drew Pettit, U.S. equity strategist at Citi. Uh, Drew, first of all, nuclear has rarely been so sexy, dare I say. We were speaking with one of the leading companies about it yesterday. Um, what is the angle that you're looking at now for investors to be aware of? You know, to be honest with you, it's a little bit more blocking and tackling, so a lot less sexy here. Back to Back to basics. So when we think about green in general, nuclear included, we really want to see inflections in growth because some of these sub-themes aren't actually these long-term structural plays. They're actually very cyclical. So nuclear, we're starting to see more companies that are posting positive earnings, positive cash flows, and we're starting to see sales and EBITDA growth accelerate you know, looking into 2025. One of the names in particular you're talking about, there's a list of 30 or so, it's kind of like the Dow of this movement, if you will, <laughs> is Ecolab. And they do, they're, do they do what exactly? So this is a stock that's going to help companies more efficiently use water. They're going to treat water. So they're, they're going to play to both the use, the efficient use side of things, as well as the sanitation side. So I think this is really key because it's back to, this looks like a momentum stock, but it's really just a cyc cyclical story that's starting to inflect from here. And so when we look through other the, the other buy-rated green stocks, City, Ecolab is one of them. We have Agilent, Adog Metal Packing, if I'm saying that correctly, Eris Water, Cummins, Conad, Graphic Packaging Holding, Idex, Poltec. You know, some of these are familiar and, and to some extent household names. Others are much more under the radar. Are, are you kind of convinced that these can be better returns on investment than some of the other um, poster childs of green energy stocks that have really not worked out well for investors lately. Yeah, I do. And, and look, before we really get into the fundamental stories, we had all of these pure plays, especially in solar, wind, um, and even clean tech really blow up post-pandemic. It really takes a lot for investors that got burned to come back there. And there's just no catalyst there. These more cyclical names, whether they're paper and packaging names, whether they're industrials names, they have a fundamental inflection. And we've had the Fed cutting rates that are going to that is going to get investors to look through to the other side of that inflection, get past some weakness right now. So all of these names, while they might not feel like traditional green types of names, they do play to a lot of themes that companies care about right now. And that's efficient use of resources, recycling where we can. And then, honestly, to what investors need, which is confidence that the fundamentals are going to get better. If, if I were bullish on nuclear, but a little concerned about the best way to play it, we mentioned Ecolab earlier. What are some of the other ways that you think would be a little bit safer than the volatility and underperformance yeah. some of these banner stocks have seen? <laughs> Look, so, some of the nuclear stocks, when you get down cap, they're probably more volatile than my one-year-old that's teething right now. <laughs> um, I think the way to really play nuclear is in a basket type of approach. Like, you will hear people talk about uh, modular reactors. They'll talk about utility companies. They'll talk about miners. But then there's another part of the value chain, some of the tech-related companies and some of the engineering and construction companies that might help this build out all play into it. I think you want exposure across the value chain because it helps you get liquidity to this theme, and it helps you neutralize some of the rate sensitivity if you were to just play utilities in some of the commodity sensitivity if you're just going to play the miners. So I think nuclear is more of a basket play at this point. I think water, when we talk about Ecolab and, and IEX, IDEX, two companies we have on our thematic 30 recommended list, I think that's more of a sock picking. Area. 